uh, trial and errors. I went through a lot of trial and error for the last maybe 15 years. Uh, first I, I went into a, a technical job, then uh, there I was unhappy with the job uh, because uh, it, it was mostly it's a, a sort of a slavery job. It was a slavery job in, in the factory. I was an engineering graduate and uh, he asked me to join. You are a great graduate and uh, you come from so and so university, you are near to my house. Uh, and I have a very big factory. I was not even aware that he has got a big, big uh, factory there. It was a, <coughs> uh, uh, it was a, I would say, a, a box. Uh, I was making some tin boxes for uh, a very big vendor in India. And it was an assembly line of all tin boxes. Uh, um, maybe an assembly line of uh, one kilometers four to five lines with continuous moving around uh, 10 to 15 workers, women workers uh, will be there and men workers will be there and at a particular point that in sheet is cut then it is shaped, it is rolled and at the end <coughs> you get a box and uh, at the end and everywhere there are people who not and I was supposed to, I didn't even know what was supervision at that time. I went there and uh, there uh, I was told uh, he is the maintenance engineer of uh, from the organization. He has joined the organization. And the old man was very uh, nice and I was respecting me. Okay, come you observe for three days what you are doing, then I will go to work. Then in half an hour uh, there was a, an young guy and he came and asked me, who are you? And I told him, I am an engineer who joined this. Then he told me, you do one thing, I go and <coughs> put oil in the machine. And I told, okay, uh, but I was not sure who is. And by the time I inquired with the workers, they told, sir, he is the son of them. And uh, by the time um, I could find out where the oil was there, and and he came and shouted at me. And he told me, you don't know where the oil is there, you have become such an engineer, why oil is used? I wanted another half an hour. Uh, I was not able to understand what was going on. I'm a young, fresh graduate from an university and I'm suddenly in assembly line, a mechanical assembly line. And uh, afterwards I saw that uh, this guy was manhandling a woman and she was crying right and left and always keeping quiet. I was so much scared. <laughs> I was so scared and and the old man was not there and next day I told my daddy that I will not go to the factory. Then he told me you have to go to the factory. You have to earn because a lot of debt is there and no other option. For about one month I went there and somehow <laughs> I, I was fired by the same guy for not doing the work and the way he wanted. This was a painful incident for me. This was the first shocking incident. Why I became an engineer, what actually I am doing. Then I joined another, uh, when I want to join a tool room. Then uh, they told uh, you are an engineer, you can join uh, this. And we are making we are making the best tools for the country. You know what the tool, machine tool. Yeah, I told machine tools here. Yeah. We are getting a good opportunity. Then I was told to go and refer to the manager and I went inside and I went to the manager and told oh welcome you are from such university very great guy come and he called another uh, person and told him okay you, you could follow us what job bataji tell him the job what he should do so this guy took me went up and down a tunnel and they took me to a very dark room it was supposed to be a tool room something like uh, maybe uh, some 30 feet by 30 feet room full of tools, everything was dark in that and uh, he uh, uh, told me to sit in one of the dark room and I sat there, he gave me a hacksaw blade and suddenly one more person, I don't know from where the dark he appeared and he threw all the hacksaw content and it was all, all soap bars, Hunter I mean, it was soap bars. And he told you cut this bars into half a inch and uh, and the next shift we had to give it to the workers. I was really shocked what actually was doing and I I told okay sir, I was cutting it. 
and uh, then uh, the slowly a person came and told uh, you're from which university i told i'm from which university and after doing engineering he asked me to cut a soap and uh, one guy another guy he told uh, called my name and told hey do you remember me it was familiar voice and he was my senior student at mtech i am also doing the same work this way i started experimenting with one by one hating loving frustrating then i went into some some other job i thought of engineering is not my cup of tea i cannot go uh, and fight in the production floor with the third language third great language of these people so that is how i went and for about i would say around 20 years of experiment do this work i don't like it do this work i don't like it do this work i don't like it and it took 30 years 25 to 30 years for me to understand and i would say of course i managed it partially now maybe at the age of 50 i have come across an area where i can vibrate i create with my job i i work with the flow i earn money for what i do not what i do what i have So all these things I'm going to is very very painful. So I see many of these youngsters are going to the same thing for they do the engineering, they do MBA, they do PG, they do commerce, and still keep on experimenting it. And I tell you, one side they cannot tell to the parents because they got their own student loan obligation. They cannot talk to their friend because their friends are also like that. They cannot talk to any person because there is no no other person to tell them. so that is where we require a mentor a mentor is a person who can who can guide you correctly who can inspire you can motivate you can guide you i'm not talk about the academic mentors from the university or the um motivational speakers so i'm not talk about that uh motivational speaker is something like uh, i'm running 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 and along with the race And suddenly two more persons are there. They are dropped down. Then I see some more, one more person is dropping down. And then I am the only guy running. And afterwards I don't know where to run. What is my destination? That is the the exact future of the today's youth. <coughs> they are happy with the books. They are happy with the <coughs> motivational tools. They are happy with uh, the blogs. They are happy with their friend suggestions. Something color bright, beautiful. and uh, they say that uh, <coughs> good great and uh, <coughs> after good what no goal where is the goal post i have been running 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 now i come to know there is no goal post where to run what for i have been running that is the outcome of motivation is make you run but it cannot give you a direction it cannot give you a destination it cannot give you uh, a a sort of a map so that's what i'm going to give you I call this program "Awaken the Millionaire." I have used it for uh, the, the last, let's uh, say, maybe twenty years. I've been doing it for the last twenty years, and I help a lot of people uh, overcome and identify the jobs, and they have made uh, a lot of millions of dollars of their productivity has gone up. And uh, I feel this is a skill needed. It's not available in the universities. is not available with uh, the uh hr department they cannot guide you and as a result they suffer as a result uh, they suffer so i don't want any other you to suffer like me you can be an entrepreneur you can be an employee experimenting with your job style or you may be an entrepreneur suddenly employ become an entrepreneur many of my clients are employed to entrepreneur and they come and some are startup entrepreneurs okay uh, some are like the caterpillars you know over take on caterpillar cannot fly but there are some caterpillars trying to fly and afterward they fall the same thing people without anything they enter the job somebody told them the job is good which is sometimes told me that business is good the market is good Therefore, you enter, and afterwards, you suddenly have a fall, and it takes time for you to come out of the fall. Yeah, how happy would it be if there is a person who is guiding you from his experience, a person who is guiding you based on your talent, your genius? Okay, and I, I help you identify your talent. I help you identify your 
uh, genius and I will tell you how you can accelerate your, you can identify your own wealth map, how you can accelerate your uh, wealth accelerator, who is the person who can help you out. If you want to say 50 years of freedom in 50 minutes, then I would say join my program, Awaken the Millionaires program. Already I completed five batches. Uh, next batch I'm going to do in the March. And if you have any questions, uh, you can just, you know, and I want you to make your lifetime freedom. Don't do the mistakes your seniors are committed. Okay. And don't go run blindly without a goal. And uh, I want you to join my next program. If you have any questions, you can ask me below. And thank you. Thanks a lot.